welcome to the Big Talk. My name is Yao Budu. I can call me NYB. And today we are at the cockpit lounge for the private listening for Kwame Eugene's Son of Africa album, which is due in October. And today, I caught up with one of Ghana's finest MCs and also presenter for the Drive on Y. Drive of your life. Drive of your life on YFM 107.9. Kojo Mano, how you doing, bro? I'm chilling, bro. I'm just chilling. We're out to, you know, have fun because COVID is trying to stop our shine, but we shine regardless. All right. So, in 2019, yeah. one of the highlights in the Ghana nightlife scene was a particular young man by the name Kojo Mano. How was 2019 for you? 2019 was simply amazing. It's, it's, it's like a combination of a lot of things that I wanted to do, wanted to realize that happened. And... Um, I, I got to see a night, night life in a different light because you see how we are changing as a people, how our events, how the culture is changing. And I'm just happy that I'm one of the people that is like frontlining, it's making it happen. So, okay, so what was like the highlights of your 2019 challenge? I think my highlight will be winning the Best MC Award at the Ghana DJ Awards. There were others to the lot actually because my favorite part of what I do is when I get to interact with the crowd. So. And I had a lot of that in 2019. But 2020 has been, you know, mean a little. But 2019 was like amazing because thousands and thousands of people. So I loved it. Definitely, like you said, 2020, COVID-19. How has it affected the nightlife industry? Right now, it's like, it's almost like everything, everybody's asleep. And it's not like we want to be asleep, but we have to because we all are trying to stay safe. Even when there are events like, ones like this we have to be super careful so you, you you don't get to have that same explosion that same kind of vibe so it's made like everything just go very slow but then i feel like it's a good thing it's a good thing because when things come back to normal it won't be normal everybody will be starved and the jamming will be extra yeah and also 2019 it all began the quarantine radio on yfm and was no, you're, yeah, this year, 2020, okay. because 2019, you're a presenter on YFM, yeah, but, 20, but yeah. 2020, quarantine radio, yeah. drive time, and now you are the permanent host of the drive of your life on YFM. How, how does it feel, Charlie? It's amazing. It's, it, it really is. And it's, uh, I think it's a learning process. I don't believe that there's any point where you get to and you feel like I've reached, like, I know everything I have to know, I've done everything I have to do, so I'm still learning, but I'm happy to know that I'm in a space where I get to learn more, and um, I'm surrounded by very awesome people, so it makes it very easy to achieve that, and I guess I'm happy that even though COVID is around, I guess I still get to get in touch with everybody that's out there, and people hear my voice every day, so it's amazing. As, as a friend, I'm always proud when I'm listening to IFM. And I, I don't know, I think I'm one of the few people who usually get a BC. And I'll be like, is it to be? <laughs> it's, it's, it's so amazing having a friend like host it. And for you, hosting one of the biggest drive time shows in Accra, the music scene in Ghana, how, how is it going so far? I think Ghana, <laughs> we are doing amazing. I, I like using the word amazing because. Um, I think we are breaking bounds, we are going outside, um, we are having impact. I mean, Shatawale, Beyonce, you know, Chrissy Atta going out there. Things are changing, Stoneboy, Kerry Hilson, you know. We are doing amazing things. I, and there's still that conversation about what is really our sound. You know, and that, and that conversation always keeps on coming up. You know, Azonto and all that. Even though we haven't found a solution, I'm just happy we are having the conversation because that's like one step closer. And I feel like the ones that are doing the proper stuff that they're supposed to do and understand that music is not just the sound, it's also a business. You always realize that your things are going well and that's something that we are still learning. So I feel like we are there, we are like uh, an above average student right now. Okay, above average student. <laughs> so which artists or which set of artists have impressed you so far this year? I mean, I always end up dropping their names somehow. Um, Shatawale because he has done everything that everybody thought he couldn't do. Kosiata because I love his story. 
of where he came from and everything. Um, Kwame Eugene because he's very different. He's, he's very different with regards to um, how he sounds and the energy that he comes with. Kiddy is, when I look at Kiddy, I always see John Legend in Kiddy. You know, because I feel like we, we don't praise our artists to the point to actually glorify them to be who they really are, you know? So when I look at Kwame Eugene, Kitty, Shatawale, Stoneboy, that's what I see. I mean, Kensak is Kensak, you know? And um, there are lots of other artists who are also coming up that are doing amazing. Um, uh, Jackie, Jackie Sinna Soul. I, I couldn't believe I almost forgot Sinna Soul, yeah. And uh, there's a whole lot. I can give you a whole list. If you leave me, I'm going to give you 100 artists. Hundred art, like. But what I'm particularly happy about is the new crop of artists. You, you mentioned two females, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and 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 that, that's something we don't usually get to hear. But which song we we'll say to you have here? Which song is the banger to for you? Uh, from the females. Not from the females. From oh, like se, 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 sitting where you are sitting. Which which Ghanaian song is the banger? <laughs> this is this is tricky. Um. I can't give you one song. I can't give you one song. Um, I can give you Adina and um, Kitty. I think that's one man. It's an amazing record. Of the Blue EP. Um, I love Kwame Eugene's Turn Up. I know it's, it's a song that you don't consider like everywhere, but every time I hear it, it's amazing. Obiato as well. Um, um, Putu. <laughs> Put two by Stoneboy, yeah. I like the energy in the in the in the song, as well as nominate. I'll end up with a very long list. Adina and T Flow. If I, if I if I left you, relax. Make a make a add one more. Adina and T Flow, uh, Fache, uh, forgive, and uh, Sina Soul and Kim Promise. Ojole remix. See, 2019, 2019 songs so they come inside. The list the list is endless. But talking about nice life. So when nice life comes back to normal. And we are still we are still on the lesson of the songs. <laughs> which, which songs do you think are turning up the clubs when, when clubs are finally open? I think I think Putu is number one. <laughs> I think Putu is number because it's it's really sad that the song dropped at this time. Because you won't get to see ten thousand people, twenty thousand people singing the song together. And that's something I really want to see. I feel like I'm forgetting a particular song, but I don't know. Um, I think, yeah, I'll, I'll probably go with Putu, and I feel like already will make a comeback. Yeah. For me, I think uh, I'm not really into the nice life, but Kojoba Anwar will be the guy that moti motivates me. You get it? Yeah. They motivate me. So, me, I'll go say, probably say cheese. The way the girls they sing say cheese, they... I knew I was forgetting the song. <laughs> no, it's say cheese. No, say cheese is like, uh, it also came just before... Uh, corona started so yeah we didn't get that experience but then based on social media and the response and you see almost every day when you're on air you get someone tweeting to ask for say cheese and that's what shows how big the song is so I'm sure when we go back everything comes back to normal those are some of the songs that will really rock the clubs yeah. so that's one they will go take get a diaspora girl so that one there <laughs> very, very, very important now let's come to the brand Kojo Mano so now radio full time one of the biggest drive time hosts now. What, so, so what, what next for Kojuma no Charlie? Well, <laughs> it's awesome we're having this interview now because we just had a conversation about certain things I want to do. But it's not time to let those things out. Okay. Um, I feel like um, I've been a drive time host for quite a short period. And I'm trying to be sure that um, the listeners and everybody that... that as part of radio or listens to radio has the very best experience. So we're working so hard to make that perfect. Right now people feel it's, it's good, but I think you can go to the roof. So that's what we're focusing on. But anything that comes, I'll make an announcement and I'll make sure Muse knows. Well, we never hear, but I will come, I'll come to him so we can all work. No, no, but honestly, some big things are coming. But I just, I'm not at liberty to talk about them yes, right now. and I'm hoping, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm hoping one big thing is the album, <laughs> because we, we've seen you release a couple of singles. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, um, it, the album already has a name. It's, it's just an issue of when it will come. So what's, what's the name? 
That was a manio tape. That's where manio came from. It's a manio tape. <laughs> that's that's where the, the name came from. So, um, I mean, there are already three songs out. So eventually. So which artist should they top in honor? So you are trying to get me to say the things that I'm not. And they are special Because the the connection between you and Shatawale is amazing. You, Baroski, Shatawale. It be it be serious banga be that. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers. When when we get to that point and we're able to say it, because um, I, I feel my brand has gotten to a point where, I mean, I do a lot of experimenting with stuff. So, um, but I feel like I've gone beyond that stage. So we've gone to a point where everything that comes out has to be well thought out and done right, uh, because the brand is getting bigger. So I can't. I'm not at liberty to talk about those things, but expect big things. The album will come. The album will come and then there are other big things to come in. Alright. Definitely it's going to get better. Once once I'm also here there, me, I'm tagging along <laughs> anything and you are day dead. Hundred hundred percent. Okay, so something to your fans out there, Charlie. Tell them something. What I'm going to say to everybody that's out there is Kojuma no believes in having the right kind of energy for everything. And the energy is not me shouting and jumping on stage or in your ears in your radio. It's about treating each other right with love. So positive energy, if anybody has negative energy, take them out so you have the right energy to enjoy life and jam when the music comes on and I say bounce with a company. All right. <laughs> so as you said, love one another, but me, I still love that tender fire energy on stage. And I can't wait for us to go back to normal life and see how Manio controls the people, the crowd. Yes, Manio is right. And I, I read one of his pieces. He spoke about going to the boiler room. Wasn't booked, but ended up getting the kwacha. So, Charlie, it's amazing. I can't wait to see you, bro, on stage doing what you do. Yeah, so this has been it. A special edition of the Big Talk with Kojo Mano, a.k.a. Manio, the host of the Drive of Your Life on Y107.9 <laughs> FM. Check him out. Check him out.